Good day, everybody. Today I'm going to be reviewing the board game Zaxxon. This game came out in 1982 for Milton Bradley, and it is for two players. Now, Zaxxon was a very popular video game back in the early 80s, and Milton Bradley did a score of games based on popular video games of the day. They did Miss Pac-Man, they did Berserk, they did Combat, they did Donkey Kong, a lot of different games. Object of Zaxxon is you are going to be using two of your fighter planes to try to shoot the lead character, Zaxxon, and if you can do that, you're going to win the game. So let's show you how this game works. Okay, everybody, let's go the, over all the components. Uh, there's quite a few components, and there's also uh, quite a few zones on this board, and we'll go ahead and start talking about them. We will go ahead and start with your fighter planes. Now, you're going to get two of these, and uh, these things have the ability to go to low altitude and high altitude. Uh, you're going to basically want to be in low altitude when you're shooting your targets and high altitude when you are going over the walls. Uh, speaking of the targets, we've got a few here. Um, you've got missile silos, you've got gun turrets, and you have fuel. Uh, now the missile silos and the gun turrets can both shoot. And uh, you also have this spinner over here that you're going to be spinning throughout the game. And uh, this is basically going to tell you uh, which color of uh, the weapon is going to shoot. Uh, it'll be red, blue, and if you roll on white, then nothing is going to happen. Uh, the Z stand for Zaxxon, which is this big dude over here, and you're not going to be using him until uh, one person flies past the radar over here. Uh, right here you have the walls, and uh, the way you're going to fly over the walls is you're going to basically have to have your plane in the high altitude area. You're not going to be able to land directly on the wall, so you're going to have to be able to fly over him completely. Um, and now let's go over the zones. We've got uh, the outer fortress, which is over here. Uh, we've got the inner fortress, which is over here. Uh, this area here is the dogfight area. And this area is the battle zone over here where you will be able to, where you'll basically be in range of Zaxxon and you'll be able to try to shoot him if you can. Now the object is you want to try to get both of your planes to shoot Zaxxon and once you do that you're going to win the game. Now you've got dice over here and every both players are going to get one die. Uh, now you can use these dies in a number of ways. Uh, you can use uh, the die number you roll to move. You can use it to uh, make your plane altitude go up or down. Um, you can also use it to shoot. So here's how it works. Let's say we go ahead and roll. Both players roll their die at the same time, and whoever gets the lowest roll is going to go ahead and spin the spinner to see uh, which of the targets is going to shoot, if any. So in this case, red is going to go ahead and shoot, and then in this case, uh, this item would shoot, and that item would shoot, and basically anything in red would shoot. Now basically what that means is if there's any plane in uh, this um, weapon zone over here and it shoots, the plane is going to get shot and it's going to have to go back uh, to the beginning over here. Now if it gets shot in this area, it's going to get uh, sent back to the restart area over here. So, after the spin, then both players will be able to move. Now you can either split up your die roll or move the full count with one plane. So let's say this guy decides to go one, two, and then he goes three for this. Now this guy has six. Now you can uh, move in any direction you want. You can land in the same space more than once. So technically this guy could go one, two, three, four, five, six if he wants to. But let's just say he goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just say he decides to do that. Now in order to shoot, uh, it's really simple. After uh, the spinner has been spun and you start moving, you can use your die roll. You can use part of your die roll to activate the shooter. So let's just say I roll the four. You go ahead and go one, two, and knock this object out like so, and then use the other two, move, two uh, spaces to move. Now when it comes to going over the walls, again, you're going to have to have um, your altitude up high. And let's just again say, let's just say this guy ended up rolling a five, which would be one. And then I can go two, and then go over the wall for three, and then go here for four, and here for five. Now, I would not be able to land directly on the wall, so if my turn would end on the wall, I'm gonna have to go back. But that's how you would go over the wall. Now, you're gonna have to shoot all of your targets in your uh, fortress area over there. And uh, once you're able to do that and you get over this wall, now you're gonna be in the dogfight area. So let's say we're in the dogfight area, and basically what this means is that the planes can go ahead and shoot at each other. Now the dogfight area is in this entire area over here, and basically the way it works is let's just say both people roll their die, and again the lowest person is going to go ahead and spin the spinner if he needs to, but then once he starts moving he can use his die numbers to shoot 
the same way that you would shoot a target. Uh, so let's say um, red just goes, let's just say red goes one, two, three, or something like that, and then blue goes five, and he'll go one, two, three, and then shoot the plane. And in this case, the plane would have to go back to the restart section. Uh, now, both the planes have to be at the same altitude in order to have a dogfight. Now, to pass the radar, let's just roll the dice one more time. And let's say red rolled four and uh, blue rolled three. Uh, the person with the highest die number is going to be able to go through the radar section uh, while the one with the lowest will not. Um, so let's just say blue moves his three. Let's just say he decides not to shoot the plane. He just goes three. And the other guy goes one, two, three, four. Now that he is in this area, Zaxxon is now going to be activated. And so now we're going to go ahead and use the Zs on the wheel. Um, now, one thing to note... Um, you do not have to shoot these if you do not want to, but they can help. These two objects here cannot be shot. They are indestructible. All right, now the way it works with Zaxxon is let's just say we go ahead and roll them. Both people roll the five. So let's just say we got the plane over here somewhere, all right? Now let's go ahead and spin, and then Zaxxon gets spun. So that means Zaxxon is going to get to move. He's going to get to be able to move the full five. And the way Zaxxon moves is he can move diagonally like this, or he can move... Uh, horizontal like this etc uh, whoever controls axon will be able to move him so let's say axon goes one and the way he shoots is he's going to shoot diagonally and he has two lasers he's got one here and one here so in this case uh, axon can shoot diagonally this way over here and he'll have a laser where he can shoot it this way as well uh, now, Zaxxon can shoot over these things, um, so let's just follow this one over here. Zaxxon will have shot this plane, so this plane is going to have to go all the way back to its restart. Zaxxon uh, shot will get blocked by uh, any kind of a black space, um, so then if you're able to not get shot by Zaxxon, uh, then you'll be safe and you'll be able to go ahead and move your amount of the die roll in this case. So then this guy could go one, two, three, four, five, or something like that. Now, uh, to shoot Zaxxon, all you have to do is on your roll, um, whenever you get to roll, uh, you will just try to try to see if you can shoot him to get a direct hit on him. Uh, and so let's say you're over here, you go one, two, three, and you would go ahead and get a hit on Zaxxon like that. And now once you hit Zaxxon with your plane, your plane can just simply be out of the game and then you'll have just one more plane um, in order to shoot to shoot Zaxxon with. Whenever these fuel tanks get shot, you're going to move them over into this section like this. Um, and uh, again, you're going to have to shoot these fuel tanks uh, in order to uh, finish off the game. Now that's basically the way the game works. And you're just going to keep playing until one person shoots Zaxxon with both of his planes and that will end the game. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Zaxxon. So my final thoughts on Zaxxon. Uh, well, I was a kid growing up in the 80s, and I played a lot of these video games, and I played Zaxxon a little bit. Uh, I know that this was a pretty popular game back in the day. I got this game from my friend Dude uh, McMahon a long time ago. He sent me a bunch of games to review, and he actually gave me this one for free. So, dude, much appreciated. Uh, I like this game okay. Um... I don't think it's very challenging uh, playing as an adult. Um, the game is pretty straightforward. Uh, I like the fact that there's a lot of different goals in the game um, and a lot of different things that you have to do. Like you have to shoot your uh, tanks, you've got to shoot the guns, you've got to get over the wall, you got to get past the radar, you got to do all these little different things, these little goals. Um, I like the fact that there's uh, different aspects of the board, the zones. You've got the dogfight zone, you've got the radar, you've got the battle zone there with Zaxxon, um, and then of course you've got those little little zones where the guns are uh, now the thing I wonder is I don't know why they had the rule to where you roll and then you spin to see if the guns are gonna go off because my wife and I played we never would go into that zone where the guns all were until we knew that we would have a die roll high enough to where we get in there and shoot them. We would never just go in there and uh, hope that the guns wouldn't hit us. So um, I think if you were to switch it around uh, to where you would move first, then roll to see if the guns would go off, that might make the game better. Uh, we didn't really do much dogfighting either. Uh, and the reason is just simply because... Uh, I was rolling a lot of lower numbers. My roll, wife was rolling a lot of higher numbers. So she would get into that area uh, early first, and I wasn't even there. Uh, and the times when I finally did get in there, I think I might have shot her one time the whole game, and she might have shot me once. Uh, so there wasn't really a lot of action there, but there was a little bit. Um, I think it would probably be better if you had both the planes in there, and then you could probably shoot at each other. But that might not happen every single game. Um, and also with Zaxxon, um, there is a pretty big battle area in the game. Uh, but 
the thing is with those black spaces that are in the middle of uh, the battle zone, that blocks a lot of Zaxxon shots. So really, even though the battle zone is you know, it has a pretty big battle zone. Zaxxon realistically can only go shoot so far. Um, so, and he could only shoot up to six anyway, which is fine. Uh, but I think if they would have maybe moved the black spaces off the board and put them somewhere else, that would give Zaxxon a much greater range to shoot. Uh, so, all in all, it's an okay game. Um, I think out of the series, this is probably the best game of the series out of from what I have read. So if you're going to pick a game from the old arcade series from Milton Bradley, this would be the one to go for, um, I have heard. Uh, so um, this is a kid's game. Uh, and this game, you know, if you're an adult, you could probably do some house rules to probably improve the play or whatever. But I think it's a kid's game. This game works well. Um, it's got some nice pieces. The pieces are really nice. I like the fact that there's a lot of different rules and that you can use the die roll to split your planes or to shoot. So there's a lot of ways you can use the dice too. Uh, so the game is good. Um, for me, I think that if you did some improvements to it, it would be a better game. But I like the game okay. So Guys, that's my review of Zaxxon. Y'all take care. I'll see you later. Keep on gaming.